we hadn't even put this together, obviously, but um, now that you're here and we're talking about a five in a row later on, it's in the papers every day about the dubs and the five in a row. They're all answering questions all the time about it. And it's like not even the actual year that they might be able to do it yet. That's not the easiest thing in the world to deal with. Yeah, um, I suppose when we went for the five in a row, it was a bit different than that. We had went for the three in a row a few years previous. And that felt like the five in a row because it hadn't been done probably in so long. And, it was new because it was hard to win one All-Ireland that time, from the early 2000s. So this was 04, and we had a big rivalry building up with Cork. And um, we, we tried to avoid it that year, um, not talk about it, and just talk about this is just a, a new year. And I felt we kind of, we learned from it when the year, you know, when we went for the three in a row a few years later and the four in a row. And I suppose we we start talking about it and just didn't kind of leave it over as the you know the big elephant in the room. Yeah. And just didn't make a big thing out of it. And we felt by doing that then it was that bit easier. So we went on then say one say zero six seven and we went for the three and zero eight then it didn't feel like anything because we'd been there before learned our lessons and just got on with it. If someone wanted to talk about it, we talk about it. if and we'd say nothing. <laughs> 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 but you know yourself and then. The four in a row the same, but the five in a row then, it didn't impact us at all. I know we lost it, and even talking about it today, it doesn't r really yeah. have too much of a... It's not a regret in my life. Some players maybe, but um, I felt we gave it everything. Like, there was huge crowds, we had, I think 10,000 of the train sessions coming up to the five in a row. People were starting to blame that, that the hype was, was too much, but sure, that's what you're going to get when you're going for five in a row. Yeah. Wouldn't you rather be doing that? than trying to win your first All-Ireland. Yeah, and if, you, so, if you'd locked training that night and then no one had come in that night, are you going to win the game, really? I don't think so. I think, again, you go out and you lose then the next Sunday, ah, you're hiding away from the yeah. fact and you went into your own little bubble. And I felt we, we embraced it. We still had savage training sessions that time. There wasn't too much tactics, I suppose, around then, so you, you didn't have to hide anything. There was no one trying to yeah. uh, to uh, unorthodox. So we went out and we just lost the game. Like we, you know, we could have lost the year before for the four in a row only for PJ Ryan was so brilliant on the goal. Yeah. So, like that's the way the Dubs are talking as well. That it's just another All Ireland this year, and they really, I would be gobsmacked if the five in a row is actually mentioned voluntarily by any of the Dublin camp next year. And it seems that that was the way with you guys as well. Yeah, and I don't think they're going to be afraid of it. Like you see, Dear McConney last year wants to go to Boston. You know, no problem if that's what you want to do. Off you go. Um, the year before, I think it was in McCaffrey, or, or the year before Mannion that even. Well. Mannion wanted to go off uh, touring the world. Off you go if that's what you want to do. We've another lad that'll come in and replace you. And I thought, especially even last year, Brogan was on the bench after, you know, we all thought coming back was it one of the, the, the round robin games that they played in. Um, he came on um, after his injury. Uh, Bernard Brogan said, right, that's it, he'll be back on the team, maybe you're coming off. Didn't make the panel for, for the rest of the year. Um, so I think there, Paul Flynn the same we thought he'd be back for the big games he, he came on and won the games played really well and started and won the games played really well but then didn't feature for the rest so I think they just have a, a culture built in Dublin that just fight for your place on the team so no one really has the chance to worry about a five in a row trying on the team first like was it a corner back last year he, was he doing stats the year before Martin, in, in, yeah, yeah, in the All Ireland, suddenly he's playing the following year. So I think it's just the culture. They're lucky. They're not trying to keep the same fifteen guys motivated. It's just and who's going to step up and take their place. So I think Dublin are lucky in that sense. Mm. And they have a bunch of players who are doing two, two in a row or three in a row, like uh, who haven't played. So for Brian Howard, it's not five in a row. For uh, who is like going to be a key player next year for um, Carl Callan. Yeah, heard her of the year last year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ryan Howard hasn't even done back-to-back -back All Ireland. He's a complete failure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, 